Hello Squishies and welcome to another Squishy Shorts. This time we're looking at the Callisto Protocol, released on December the 2nd, 2022. This was a game I was looking forward to and I've had a few messages asking for my thoughts, so here we are. The Callisto Protocol is a survival horror game in a similar style to EA's 2008 horror game Dead Space, being that it is directed by Dead Space creator and producer Glenn Schofield. And you play as Jacob, an inmate of the Black Iron Prison on the moon of Callisto, and, well, as you can see, things are not going very well here. This is less than ideal conditions for a prison. And so off you pop to find out what's going on, and not die trying. I mean, look at this thing, it's very pretty. A lot has gone into the production design of the world, and throughout the adventure you'll journey deep into the prison and out onto the inhospitable surface of the moon. Don't expect anything as old-fashioned as a map in this game. There's no HUD and no inventory. What you see is what you get. I found that the game was well designed enough though that it was really unclear what the critical path was and where I could deviate from that and go and explore. But you do miss the luxury of having a visual guide of where you've been and where you could go. But ultimately in this game you don't really need it. But unlike Dead Space or something like Resident Evil, your primary combat method is melee. You will get a gun part way through and can unlock others as you go, but resources for upgrades are scarce, so you will probably pick one and then upgrade that as much as possible. There is an anti-gravity glove later in the story that allows you to fling enemies into environmental hazards. The, the, the combat is fine. There's a dodge mechanic that I never really got to grips with because I'm clumsy and not very graceful. When you're surrounded by enemies, and even if you're good, you are going to get overwhelmed if you don't get yourself some distance. Uh, and other than upgrading with resources, I never really felt there was much progression in the enemies or combat. It all felt about the same throughout. As a renowned coward, and someone who felt enormous stress playing Alien Isolation, even for a third time, I was disappointed that I never really felt scared in this game. It didn't have the peaks or troughs needed to really build tension. It felt very predictable, and nothing surprised me during the game. Not being scared is, is my biggest problem with this horror game, leading me to an overall feeling of slight tedium, actually. And each environment, whilst beautiful, feels more and more like a chore than an area of unknown terrors. Is this a terrible game? No. Is it a genre-defining horror game? No. Is it fine? Yeah. Play it if you're interested, but know that the game is exactly what you imagine it will be. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. We will see you on the next one. Bye!